Welcome to Pack Brothers. If you're new here, we are turning our Chinese mini truck into an off-road mini recovery vehicle thing. Last week, we got the boom and the flatbed pretty much 80% done. And this week, we're trying to get the motor and transmission mounted, but before we do that, we have to know where the cab is gonna sit. And that puppy still isn't mounted yet. It's probably gonna sound a lot like that while we're driving, but... We can't have that thing jiggling around while we're in there driving this thing. The only thing that's gonna be jiggling in this truck is us. <laughs> yeah, and Brady's love handles. <laughs> I'm telling mom you said that. Yeah, I'm telling mom. We've been reading in the comments and everybody wants to see this thing flip up like a cab over semi so we can work on a motor. The hard part about that is there's gonna be a huge bumper right here that it's gonna tilt into, but you guys wanna see it. We're gonna make it happen. I don't even care if the whole bumper's gotta come off. This puppy is gonna pivot forward. It's really gonna make our motor mounts and working on the motor way easier anyways. So I'm kind of pumped that we're actually gonna do this. This thing is supposed to be a recovery vehicle. But you gotta remember it is still owned by us. And if it's owned by us, it's going to have problems. So being able to tip this cab forward and get in there and be able to work on the motor and transmission and those kinds of things, it's definitely going to be very beneficial to us. The biggest question that we have now is how the flip are we going to do it? The thing that we're most worried about is where our pivot point's going to go. Because where that goes is going to determine if this cab corner is going to hit the bed. And we already have to take the front bumper off to pivot it. We don't want to have to take the whole freaking <laughs> bed off. So hopefully that clears when it pops up. The nice thing is, though, is we do have this little curve right here. That's working in our favor for yeah. sure. Would have never thought that we, that would have helped us, but I think it's going to. We're gonna hurry and pull this cab off the frame so we can square up the front of the frame, cut the excess crap off of the mini truck frame, and then we'll kind of have a better idea of how we're gonna do this. If he dents our mini truck. He's dead. Oh man. Whose idea was to flip an LBL in there? Safety is our number one priority. I'm gonna be honest, what we do is super taxing on all of us. And there's been a lot of tough times in our story. But really, we're just like everybody else. We stress about money, we stress about tight deadlines we have. We, stre we deal with problems all day long. Me and Brady have kids we worry about. So when you couple all of those things we worry about and all of the work we have to do on no sleep, you've got a real problem. I'm lucky enough to have Brady and Alex to help me through when I'm struggling mentally, but not everybody is that fortunate. Not everybody has someone they can count on or someone they can go to when times are tough. And for the millions of people out there in that situation, there's better help the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp is an online service that gets you connected to a licensed therapist that's trained to listen and give you helpful advice. And you can do it all from your phone or computer. You can call or text or video chat, whatever you're comfortable with. After signing up, you'll be matched with a therapist fast, usually within 48 hours. Talking it through always helps, so visit betterhelp.com slash peckbrothers to get 10% off of your first month. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and supporting our channel. We hope that it can be a blessing to anyone watching that needs someone in their corner. We really should put this cab like <laughs> anywhere else because we need to get the motor out. We need to move the frame up and down. To do that, we need to move Brave Jeep out of the way. To do that, we gotta move the table out of the way. And to do that, we've gotta put that beam up to solve Brady's twisting problem. So we're gonna go ahead and try to put that beam up to see if it solves the problem. <laughs> you think it will? I know it will. If you didn't see the video where we were trying to get this post out of the way, I built these brackets and hung this chain from the ceiling to help hold and support the loft. When you pull this out and this chain starts holding all the weight, this beam right here wants to twist out because there's leverage out on this outside. So everybody roasted me in the comments, said you should have it, hung it from the top. Rightfully which, so. Which great, that's a great idea. That's originally what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to have to deal with 
tapping in and cutting into this and trimming it all out and dealing with that. So I came up with a better solution. I got with the guy that actually fabricated the shop and he built us an I-beam that's gonna go up in place and keep that beam from twisting. Wow. This thing fits perfect right there. Oh. Dude! A lot of people in the comments were worried about like that chain holding all of the weight of the loft and that beam now. It's not the chain. It's the beam up there they're worried about. Oh yeah, well, whatever you guys are worried about, you shouldn't be worried about it. Cause <laughs> the guy that engineered this shop said we could literally hang a Jeep off of the trusses on the inside of the shop. It's super, super, super overbuilt. And we wanted it that way in case we want to hang something huge off of the beams. Or if we want to pick up a motor or do whatever with it, it is like, he said, hang whatever you want off of it. Anybody was wondering when we took the weight off of this thing, it the beam twisted this way. So if it holds tight, we're good. Are you sure you want to be under it? <laughs> I haven't done off. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I want to show you guys. One more perk of doing an eye joist right there. In this shop, we plan to build all sorts of things in the future. Big things, little things, really anything to do with a motor. We're gonna build it in here and we're just getting started. I bought this the other day to put up on the I-beam. The Peck Brothers got a freaking trolley. This thing's gonna be sweet because these little rollers roll on that I-beam and then have a hook down here at the bottom to be able to hang things and move it along the eye joist to, you know, move things around. They shim stuff like me and Cabe shim stuff on our Jeeps. <laughs> With washers. I love it. Wheel spacers. All you need are extra washers. Check it out. Dude. Yeah, I think rolls pretty good. Oh my gosh, it holds out. Baby girl love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, they ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you. Baby girl love my bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. I leave for five minutes and look what Alex just got done. We don't got time to sit around. We got to get crap done here. So he's got the whole front cross member section done and ready to rip. But in true Alex fashion, the high lift jacks out and the forklift is pressing down on it. What's going on? This frame, it might have gotten in a wreck. I don't know. It was the front of it was like this. So we've got the high lift on this side and the forklift pushing down this side. But now it's square, at least to the bed. And the bed's perfect. So as soon as we let it down, it's probably going to be off a little bit, but it's going to help. This is why when we need to get something done, we've got Alex on board. Watch your face. There. Oh, there you go. All right, we got problems. This frame is a long ways from straight, and when we set everything back down, it's still a long ways from straight. So the idea here is to chain the axle up to the chassis right here, and then I lift the other side up, and hopefully stretch it out enough to where it goes back to straight. So this bed is perfectly flat on this frame, and if you eyeball from here to here, it's like this. <laughs> So we're trying to chain this side to the axle, lift this side up so it will overstretch it, and hopefully it'll be enough to where it'll sit level again. And if not, Alex is gonna fire up the torch and we're gonna be heating one of these sides up and stretching it. If we were to just not care and just throw the truck on here, 
the truck's gonna bend and tweak, and that's probably why the doors don't shut as it is. <laughs> so we've got to get this frame straight. So the cab is happy, the doors are happy, and nothing's twisted from the start. And we we can't make body mounts until we know all this is flat. Tell me when you think it's good, Brad. I'm just gonna keep going. That's gotta be flat. Oh, it's flat. It's just not past we yet. Got a little pass. It's like just barely <laughs> back. That's pretty even sketchy. Oh my. Ooh, so, I'm hearing a couple little that's good. tweaks and cracks. Something's gonna go boom. The high lift needs to go on the axle up to the frame, not to the floor. <laughs> That's a stupid idea. Anything Brady says is usually right, so I'm just going with bread. I'm going with bread too. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> when you said put the high lift on the axle, I thought you meant lift the axle. No! Well, this that's okay. Sketchy, See, though. now that's why I just listen sometimes. You guys see what I gotta deal with on a daily basis with these two? <laughs> this is gonna get... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. It's working now. I feel like I shouldn't have my face this close to it. It's <laughs> fine, your face is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why'd you put the floor jack in there? Ooh. So we'd probably need to leave that thing there overnight. Not gonna go oh, I don't know if steel works like that. I don't either, but that's gonna be our best bet. Unless you want to just keep jacking. We don't have time to. Yeah, I'm without. You don't have time to waste. Why are you backed up? Ooh, I think it's gonna bust. What's gonna bust? Oh. I think that's the highest we dare go. Dude, you gotta at least get the pad on the axle. <laughs> Dude. That thing could come flying off. It just doesn't work like that. We don't have the room. Alex is grabbing a floor jack, so. How hard have you been hitting the shins? The what? In the shins. Oh, I've been hit pretty hard in the shin. That would have definitely <laughs> been the hardest. Yeah, that would have hurt. Well, it still might hurt. Brad, I don't know why you were waiting to build a table to fix your frame. Yeah, no just... kidding. Yeah, I'm just wondering why you guys are using my floor jack for this. <laughs> Yours is already tweaked. <laughs> we don't want to break mine. I've so, had it. Thing off first? Just let me get somewhere close. I feel like you need to get it right where this is. Oh, well, that worked. That didn't even care. Hydraulics, man. It's why wrinkle this frame. <laughs> or my jack. Wow. This mo hey, okay, that's Look. probably plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's suspension travel is just limited to their shocks and stuff. We've got suspension travel in our frame. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what it did. I feel like it helped a little bit, maybe. We think Ooh. we think it's better, but it's not quite right. We're still about, I don't know, maybe an inch, maybe two inches off, so we're going to go a little further. There. It's probably like a half inch. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Alex, that's probably plenty. Holy flip. We're going to send that jack through the roof. <laughs> yeah, it ain't close enough. Let's grab the torch. Crank that thing off. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna put up the sign. When we hung these banners up in the last couple videos, Motoville sent us a small one. Forever ago. Yeah, a long time ago. And we just got one to replace that. <laughs> All right, we got that thing glowing red, and we're going to see if it did anything. Okay, do you think it went? I don't know. I mean, I think it went. I don't think so, but I could see it going both ways. Way to be negative. I, I hate to say it, but Alex, you don't think it worked. Well, I just didn't want to say that. I think it worked. <laughs>
Dude, it's almost dead on. We're taking that. Dude, it is almost dead on. How is almost? Like within an it's, inch or two? It's within a freaking, at least a 16. Dude. Yes. How did we get that freaking close? <laughs> Pure luck. Pure luck. Zero skill. Well, someone's living right around here. That's all I know. Check it. See how strong it is? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, it's about midnight. We're all beat. We have our doubts, but this is what we've got. So we've got our cross member here. We got tabs that come up to a bushing that's going to isolate this truck a little bit off of the frame. It comes down to a reinforced cross member here because we're dealing with such thin sheet metal on the like unibody frame thing on this piece of crap. So it's got a really heavy duty cross member here that we welded that to and bolted it up to. So that should give that chassis some rigidity. And now it's on a good, nice, solid, flat mounted cross member. We're gonna see if we this thing will actually rotate up and clear the bed. I don't think it will. But <laughs> we're gonna see. I think it's gonna hit the bed in the first like three inches going up. If it goes and it clears, I'm buying everybody steak dinner. One, two, three. <laughs> what just fell? It's probably just caught on something. Oh, there it went. No way! No way! I was kidding about dinner. No! Are you Does kidding? it work? It works. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're going to get under. Oh, that's what you need. Holy crap. So okay, dude, don't go too far. That is sick. Dude. This is the coolest thing we've ever done. This was genius. Okay, Look how much room cool. we've got. Oh my heck! This is awesome. No way, dude. That, that is so sick! Oh my god. Dude, what happens when we forget to put the back pins in? <laughs> <laughs> and we go down a steep yeah. hill. Dude. That is so sick. Such good. Uh, like, that couldn't work anymore. No. Perfect. It might even clear the front bumper. One eternity later. It is. 105 in the morning and our work tends to go a little bit further backwards than it does forward this time of night but i just got the back body mounts all welded up they're too hot right now to put the bushings in so it's a perfect time to call it a night all right we are back up here this morning you guys gotta see what just showed up our huge order of motobill stuff showed up today it's got everything from front bumpers rear bumpers our four link setup kit for the front winch plates what oh, else is here trusses oh trusses everything there is nothing better than getting a shipment from auto build i'm thinking front and rear bumper oh, right on. what is this this one's huge oh you know what maybe we that's got a gas tank in this oh, too oh that's what it is that's good. for sure the gas tank if any of you have never ordered anything moto built you're missing out because everything is usa made these guys is quality everything's overbuilt and it's to perfection the guys over there are just awesome when it comes to customer service they're willing to literally help you out on anything you're building you have any questions any problem they're gonna take care of it we stand behind moto built with everything we have the other cool thing you can buy your whole Link kit. Oh, yes. the tubing, the trusses, How the brackets. They even cut them like it's per foot. So if you need, you just measure out what you need. Say, I need this many sections of this long. I think I found what I was looking for. Oh, dude. 
Oh my gosh. Now that we've got the cab mounted up in the air, ready to rip, we've got this motor hanging out here, ready to get mounted. Ooh, that's leaking. Ooh. Now let's put something under this. Now the main idea here is we need to get this stuff mounted in the mini truck before we leave for the expo, probably tomorrow morning. We've got this bare transmission case. There's nothing inside of it to use to mock it up. The biggest problem that we're running into is the fact that this adapter is not going to work. This adapter will not bolt onto a Turbo 400 and we're wanting to run a Turbo 400 in this. The other problem is that's the wrong input shaft. Yeah, that's a 27 spline input shaft and a Turbo 400 needs a 32 spline input shaft. So we've got problems all over the place. But the cool thing is we've got a super good buddy that's a transmission absolute wizard. And I've been talking to him on the phone, telling him about these problems that we're having. And he basically just said, come over to the shop. I've got some stuff laying around. I think we'll help you guys out. So we've had this guy build a couple of transmissions for us. When my dad's truck was right out of warranty, the tranny went out on it and it was so new no one really dared work on it, but this guy. His name's Frederick. He owns One Way Transmissions in Smithfield, Utah. And this guy flat out knows transmissions. Please take a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> but take the whole thing. I freaking love these things. Nothing better than when a transmission shop's got treats. No good. Yeah, right on the good counter. You could use one of those too. Yeah, for sure. What about you? They made them for you. We already popped one in, thank goodness. I got something to show you. This one right here, it's got power packs, reverse pattern, manual valve body. What do you mean? This one is yours. What? No way. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> We've had so many problems with transmissions over the years. We'd pick them up on our local classifieds thinking that they were good when people would tell us that they were good. Alec, how many did you go through? I literally, I think I put six transmissions <laughs> in one of my Jeeps before one of them worked. And they were Turbo 400s they too, were, weren't they? Were, they? Yeah. Sure they enough. Told me they were awesome, they are good. And they weren't. Thank you so much. You're Holy awesome. cow. We're gonna have confidence now putting this thing right in gear, knowing that it's actually gonna go into gear. And the coolest part about this thing, and I don't know if you guys heard or know what it is, but Frederick said that it's got a reverse manual valve body. So it's an automatic transmission, but this one is fully manual. So it won't shift from first to second to third unless you shift it on the shifter. So it's kind of like a fully manual with no clutch, which is way sick for a tow truck and honestly an off-road rig in general. As we were leaving, he actually had the right adapter that we need and he traded it for the wrong one that we had. So we're in good shape to get this whole drivetrain hooked up and put it in the truck. So we're gonna take the seat that I still haven't mounted in my Jeep, see if it will fit in the mini truck. And we're not just screwing around here, we're trying to figure out how high we can mount this motor. Dude, that is yeah. sick! Pretty... Freak yeah, dude. Look at that. We got all kinds of room. Hey, that's pretty good. The only problem is this. <laughs> dude, as long as you can get in. Let me flip the brackets real quick. It'll be better. Okay, take two. This should be better. We're using these new Moto built PRP seat brackets here, and it's nice because you can flip them and then flatten your seat out a little bit. Oh man, that's nice and flat. Dude, we're gonna be able to fit all three of us in here, no problem. Absolutely. I mean, you can scoot over another three inches yeah, at let's least. Go. Let's scoot the seat over. 
Tell me one. Keep going. That's well. There's like two inches still. So two inches. Good bread. Oh, one hundred percent, dude. Look, you can kind of split driving with you. Yeah, yeah. I could shift. <laughs> dude, this is sick. This is gonna be fun. Alex, get the grinder. Gabe, you gotta figure out how to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I will start, I'll start making the cross beam. One eternity later. Oh. Harry. Oh. Harry. No. Harry. No. <laughs> Guys, we're, we normally don't do this. We're accepting defeat here. There's absolutely no way we're going to get this thing done tonight. No way. We got pretty freaking far. The motor's in. The transmission's mounted on it. It's. Don't forget the cab tilts up. Yeah, that's pretty that's sick. Pretty cool. But uh, this video is far from over. So don't think that we're throwing in the towel here because we still have to go to the expo and give a 45 minute speech that we don't, you know, we barely we're not public speak speakers. English. Yeah, so it's going to be worried and sweating. Gonna meet a lot of cool people. We're gonna bring Alex's Jeep because his Jeep's freaking sick. And I'm pretty sure the Jeep's won on the pole anyways. So more people want to see the Jeeps. The mini truck's kind of like your ugly girlfriend that at least you got one, but you just don't really want to show anybody. No, you don't want, you can't flex it because she's ugly, but I don't know. You gotta wait till she's got some makeup and. Yeah, exactly. And is, well, I mean, loud's wrong, but it's gonna be loud too, and that's gonna make it cool. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's anyway. really it's really late. I'm new here. About four hours of sleep. Yeah. And hopefully, I mean getting to bed just after midnight, maybe we'll have a little bit more, you know, energy tomorrow. It's not for a lack of effort. The beautiful thing about this quitting now and you know, pushing it till later is I'm going on this next week. That means these two get a deal with this. Mounting the motor and tranny by themselves next week. If I remember right, you still owe us a steak dinner. Oh, we'll, we'll cash that in. Yeah, down there. we'll cash that in. <laughs> We've got it done to do to our jeeps for the games. Oh, we still got axle shaft problems. Yeah, hub problems because the axle shaft ruined the hub. Both batteries are dead. They leak oil. My throttle sticks. And we're going to put somebody in there that's never driven off-road. It's far from over, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe, wake up. We got to go. To the expo? Yeah, come on. I love when the good news coming in on a day to day. Already know what's handy, now I gotta shake the A. Big moves, big step up in the right direction. The trip continues, every double use a psychedelic. Journey over accolades, divvy up the macalades and tell them boys to have a day. Give and take, and I love to give. Yeah, it comes out tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a long night. This event has been an absolute riot. Huge thank you to everybody that came out and hung out with us and said hi and bought merch. We have an absolutely huge week next week. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching.